Hey guys, it's me, Jess. Um, so, I have some great news. First of all, I apologize for not posting sooner. Um, I've had a lot of things going on. I started my job at Verizon Wireless. Um, which has been pretty cool, and um, I just had a lot of different things going on. Um, I am 11 months post-op. I am since surgery down 151 pounds. Um, I am down a total of 197 pounds, um, so that's really cool. Um, I, I'm trying to think. Um, so I have some great news, but I'll make you wait for that for just a second. Um, last, last month I went into the hospital for two days because I ate something and I got stuck. So they had to go down and look again and all that nonsense. So I've definitely had, um, my share of fun in the hospital. So hopefully that won't happen again anytime soon. Um, all right, so I can't hold it any longer. The great news is, even though I'm 11 months post-op, I've lost a considerable amount of weight in that amount of time, and I have a lot of extra skin, a lot. And um, so I went to the plastic surgeon, and I just said I wanted to have a consultation. I just wanted to see what he had to say. Well, I walked in to the um, doctor's room, and they had me before the doctor would come in take off my pants and um, put a cover a sheet over and when he came in um, I was really embarrassed because I mean I've always been embarrassed about the hanging skin there it's like an apron so I when I when he came in he asked me to go ahead and stand up and take the sheet away um, I was almost in tears and he noticed and he told me that it would be okay and that he understands and that he's seen a lot worse and that it's okay just stand up let me just see what we what we're working with well I stood up and my stomach fell <laughs> and he looked at me and said and he looked up at me because he's like sitting down and I'm up here standing on a bench and he's like if anybody in this world needs this you do you definitely need it and it would help with the weight loss it would help with getting you healthy and stuff like that so I was really surprised and uh, he made it very clear that most insurance companies do not cover plastic surgery for tummy tucks or for not it's not even a tummy tuck it's a whole abdominal take off all this extra whatever um so I was like okay so he's for me like he wants me to have it done and so I got excited and I was like, all right. And he was like, well, we're going to apply, but there's no guarantee. So I said, okay. Um, well, that was uh, two weeks ago and I got a call yesterday. I had a call before, but it didn't make much sense. Like it didn't, wasn't clear that I was approved. It was more of asking questions. And so you obviously know I was approved. They called and they let me know, yes, you've been approved. And the hardest thing about the pictures, um, that was the hardest thing about the about the appointment is pictures. They took pictures. And then they lift my stomach, they put my stomach to the spot. I mean, it was just nasty. Um, and I was so embarrassed that the nurse did it, the doctor didn't do the pictures. But I bowled my eyes out. And she told me that, you know, I deserve to have it. You know, I've worked really hard and um, she hopes that I get it. And I did. And I'm really excited about it. Um, I do have a date for October 8th, but I'm pushing it sooner. I'm pushing it because I could have it in July. Um, but I don't want to leave work that soon. Um, so what I'm going to do is have it done in September. So September is the day I am going to have my stomach packed or cut or whatever you want to call it. I don't even know. Um, so that's super, super, super exciting. Um, that's something to keep my mind positive because uh, I went to the doctor, my primary care doctor, and I was informed that, um, I don't know if anybody else has gone through it, but it's just to let you know that, you know, they do recommend that you wait a long time before you have children after having gastric bypass. And um, 
so that upset me because I don't want anybody to tell me that I can't do something, you know? So, I mean, I was super upset. And But this gives me something else to think about. September, I'm getting that fixed. And hopefully between now and September, I can get the money together to possibly take care of that. So I'm definitely going to have to post a warning about skin. These are my arms now. Hopefully I can maybe get my arms done a little bit because it goes all the way down to about there where it stops. But yeah, that's pretty crazy, huh? That's nuts. Um, then I also have skin, like excess skin here. My breasts are all excess skin. Um, I will stand up so that you can see maybe my thighs um, and stuff. I'm wearing a dress, actually. Hello, Jessica in a dress. Are you kidding? I haven't worn a dress in, God, it has to be like 15, 16 years. I mean, since I was real little. Actually, no, I wore one for my sister's wedding when I was like 15 or 14. So, 13 years since I've worn a dress. And I went from a size 32 to this dress is a 16, 14. And when you see it, I could have fit in a 12. So, here we go. Let me see. I think, okay. Maybe that should do it. I have stuff like everywhere. Um, hello. Yes. So, see, I could have probably. But this is the excess skin my stomach. Um, I don't want to show anything too graphic. You can see all of that hanging there. It's all there. Um, and then my thighs are, there's a lot of skin on my thighs. Um, and my arms again, maybe here you'll be able to see it a little bit better. So yeah, I mean it's pretty rough. Um, not happy with it. Um, to say the very least. So, there you go, skin, all that good stuff. Um, I also have, like, skin on my neck that just drives me crazy. But um, hopefully that they can do the stomach thing and then maybe do a couple extra things if I can get enough money together. So, we'll see. I'm not 100% sure, but I will definitely keep you guys updated. Also, just to let you know, I'm running out of time. Bo... Got, his, got into his first appointment on the 15th, and we're going to start making his videos, his vlogs. Um, matter of fact, I'll probably have a blog, uh, a vlog posted very shortly about his ordeal with the first doctor's appointment and what they told him and things like that. So keep an eye out for video number one. Isn't that great? So everything seems to be working out really good. Everything's positive. Um, Shauna, I get to see Shauna this weekend, which is super exciting. Um, we're staying in Myrtle Beach. I wish I could go to the Savannah, Georgia thing, but after having to be in the hospital for a few days and then missing a couple of days from being sick uh, at work, I just cannot take any time off in order to go there. So hopefully, as soon as there's another one, I am going to be there. Um, so, yeah. Myrtle Beach this weekend, y'all see a video, me and Shauna, we had our surgery on the same day last year, and that's how we met, and I feel like we've been kind of like sisters ever since, so that's awesome, and so, and I'll keep you guys updated on my plastic surgery, I'll do videos and everything too, I promise, I promise, this is a new laptop, that's the reason why you can hear me, so, my laptop, I will make videos. Thanks, guys, for watching. I love you guys. And without you guys' support, I don't know where I would be. I'm going to be honest. I just don't know. But I really am super excited about the... Yeah, I'm, I'm so excited about the plastic surgery. I actually think I'm going to be normal. So you guys will see it all. I'll do a real excess skin um, one right before because I'm planning on trying to lose a little bit more beforehand. Um, but you guys will see, uh, unfortunately, you'll see a lot more of me, <laughs> but videos will begin with photo. Love you guys. Bye.